We were originally asked to come into the school to deal with some incidents around race. It was actually a, a, a unique ask because originally it was just to come in to find out and see what the culture was like and see if we can have an input. Um, and we wanted to look at it as an actual collaboration between Argyle Community Trust and Ivybridge Community College. And so from that we decided to create a student council and with that we wanted to look at how we could not just affect people's ideas within the school but also actually affect policies. One of the biggest things that was birthed from the group was the idea of Culture Fest. What we wanted to do was use that as an opportunity to celebrate. We wanted to, to use that as an experience for young people to be proud of their culture but at the same time use that as an educational piece to, to let everyone else know about the, the do's and don'ts um, and to make people more aware of those little microaggressions that, that a lot of young people face within the school as well as obviously the more direct forms of racism that they also experience as well. So from that we decided to bring in various different um, organisers, um, so DBI were involved, Hope Plymouth Cruise and Flavours, we wanted to really kind of show a lot of young people the various organisations that have been successful within the South West um, and not just that as well but create different pathways and potential opportunities to link in young people as well as um, adults into these organisations too. It was a really pivotal day, I think, um, where the students who've been working really hard with CADIS um, finally came together and saw the final um, product of their work. We had three different workshops, we also had seminars um, and students were able to ask questions at the end of the day as well with a really fantastic um, guest panel um, where students were asking some really deep questions. Um, but thoughtful questions that had then some really thoughtful answers that have led to students really being able to question their own behaviours, their own language um, and really get to grips with multiculturalism um, and equality and diversity from having increased visibility. We were looking for increased visibility to encourage students to empathise with one another, increase their compassion, increase their respect for one another. Working towards Culture Fest as well has seen a massive change. There's been a lot more focus on anti-racism strategies as a whole uh, and staff have really been engaging with that, um, with staff training as well, which the students played a massive part in as well on the lead up to Culture Fest. What we've noticed is that students are a lot more um, thoughtful uh, of their language, of their behaviour and some of our students have reported like those covert forms of racism like somebody touching their hair has, has really reduced um, and they're able to feel more safe walking around the college site. I think it's really important, I think that we should not stand for discrimination in the school and I think that doing this is a way to eliminate that. I think it's really important that the school are able to raise awareness of different people and their cultures. I would say that since this has started and since we've sort of been talking about this, I'd say, I'd say that my, in my personal experience, the, uh, the experiences that I've had have certainly decreased, so I've definitely had like, less people touching my hair. It's uh, been a massive achievement um, from everyone involved. One thing that I've realised is the power of collaboration. So, Argyle Community Trust as a whole with our ED&I um, focus as well as Ivy Bridge and, and them being proactive in terms of dealing with this issue and actually looking at how that can change systemically um, and knowing that these young people have had a massive impact in that is their ideas which we've just, we've just tried to find a way to, to make it happen. Um, it's been a very, very proud moment for not just us as the Trust but just even from a personal standpoint, um, watching that unfold and, and seeing just different organisers and um, collaborators getting involved and being so passionate about something which is a very, very big issue in society um, and we feel that it's a very good starting place. So I'm very excited, very emotional um, and very proud.